Hey guys, Josh Carter here with One Objective. In today's video, we're going to be working on our new tandem kayak trailer, so stay tuned. Alright guys, like I said before, we're going to be working on our new tandem kayak trailer. We got James here. We're uh, we're probably going to be watching him do a lot of work because we're going to be filming a lot. But I'm going to try to get in here too. We're not going to film everything with this. Um, but I want to kind of give you guys um, the gist of us building this and, and what all we got in it and all that. So that way you guys, you know, there, there is a lot of good uh, kayak trailer manufacturers out there a couple guys that are, are building some nice uh looking trailers but for you guys that are on a budget like we are as well um there's other options out there you don't you don't have to go like wild and crazy you know if you got the budget for it that's fine but for us we don't we don't want to spend a whole lot of money just in our kayak trailer so um so anyways we're going to show you guys basically from start to finish with this trailer it's probably gonna be a couple videos because we've got some other things we want to add later but we're leaving for Texas in what, James? Two weeks? Two, like a little over, well, right at two weeks now. Yeah, so right, right at right at two weeks, we leave for Texas for about a two-week span, just about uh -huh. uh, for the Bassmasters on Fork and then the Hobie on uh, Toledo Bend. So we wanted to have something so we could save a little bit of money instead of taking two vehicles down, so we could haul both of our Hobies on here. So, um, but anyways, we're gonna kind of get into it and uh, show you guys what all we're working with. All right, well, we ended up finding this trailer on Facebook Marketplace. James did, actually. He woke up one morning, and boom, there it was. Hit the guy up, went and picked the trailer up. And um, for around here, most of the time, what are tandem axles going for? I mean, uh, tandem jet ski trailers going for, like, 1500 Yeah, yeah 1000 to 1500 bucks. Yeah, 1000 to 1500 bucks is what most of your tandem jet ski trailers have been going for. We was able to get this one for $900. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up putting some plywood on here, um, few, and some car carpet at all, and put some new uh, tires on. We got some new fenders. Um, but like I say, we're, we wanna have as little as possible in this trailer, but have a good, a really good trailer and, and something that you guys can build off of. And that way y'all don't spend a fortune. I mean, it, it, you could go out there and buy a uh, a single axle jet ski trailer for four or five six hundred bucks something like that mm -hmm. and just put a few odd and end things on it and then have less than a grand just about yeah. in a nice uh kayak trailer so um but anyways we're going to dig into this and uh kind of just do a little bit here and there and show you everything and then uh that way that way you can kind of see what we got so. that's a negative that is a negative Oh, let's cut them off. Yeah. Yeah. One thing we did like about this is it has the uh, dual uh, straps, um, crank handles, and all that stuff. And these are adjustable, so we can adjust them out for the, the Hobie. So. Kind of a big hurdle right now. She moving in? Mm -mm. It's busting. It broke. It's breaking the damn thing. The bracket. Yeah, it's cracking right there. All right. So now I got to go to a plan B on those, huh? Mm-hmm. What can we do? What can we do different? I mean, we could probably take... I don't know if we still can or not. Like, take those off. And run a board across. And try to bolt it down. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
we'll need more. Well, beans, that's like a track work. I mean, could we do anything where it's like, you know what I mean? Like a, like a tea nut kind of deal? Like a bigger one though? Well, the ones we got would work. It's just, I don't know if, because that's what's in it right now on these. It's like a tea nut. That's what's actually on it. But if we take them off, there's four and a half inches there. So we are already three quarters of an inch short when we were going to be on top. Yeah. So we're going to be way short. So we'd have to put like a two by six down. Might be a change of plans. Hate it, but I don't, I don't know if it, we're not, not unless we go there and we can find it. I mean, they got plate. You can make steel ones if they've got tubing. I've got my welder in there. I mean, hell, it wouldn't take long. Yeah. Whip them out. Just cut them. Yeah. We still got to get these out of this too. We've only gotten four out of eight. So I guess we try that first. So if we can't get these out, there's no sense in even messing with those. You know what I'm saying? Like we just need to take the whole damn thing off and call it done. Yeah. And what do you think? I think that's our only option. We try to get those out because. What, take them, at least just take these off? Yeah. At least see if we can get them out. If we can't get them out, then we got to nix this whole this whole thing. We can't even worry about getting a piece of pipe and making some. Yeah. Because, I mean, we could just take and cut two inch piece, two, three inch pieces, get a piece of flat bar, drill a couple holes in it. And make them weld a piece of pipe to it, you know, and yeah. make, our, make new ones. And then we'd be back to normal and we wouldn't have to have this big, huge frame. Frame. I'd rather not make have the frame underneath it if we don't have to. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can get them out and then we'll. Go from Either there. way, we're going to have to make them do something. I'm just going to go get the, I'm going to put a little bit of heat on them. All right, guys. After. What, two trips to Lowe's now? Or is it three trips? Because you did a trip earlier today, right? Yeah, it's three trips. Yeah, so three trips. Well, Ace Hardware, Lowe's, and Tractor Supply. We've been at today. So, uh, I think we're pretty good. While I was out trying to get some bolts the second time around, James got the fenders mounted on. And now we're getting the bolts and all that. I mean, the boards and all that put on. We actually had to go to... Uh, a plan B on that, which is pretty genius. Um, but it works for this, for how this setup is. So some of the, the reason is when we bought this trailer, the bolts were they brought, I'm gonna say the wrong kind of bolts in there. They wouldn't like galvanized or stainless or anything. They were just rusted, slam up in the aluminum. So ba basically I like welded itself to it. So, um, but anyways, we're getting, we're getting the two by fours on now. And then we're gonna get the plywood cut we're not going to put it on yet. We're not going to put the plywood on yet because as everybody knows with the, the situation with the lumber and all that stuff, when you get this stuff right now, you get the plywood, it's so wet that you basically drill it and it'll start just pouring water out basically. <laughs> I mean, it's that wet right now. So uh, we're just going to let it dry a little bit before we go ahead and put the uh, carpet on it. Um, but I'm going to show you guys a little bit what we, I'm just going to kind of pan through and show you guys what we got so far. Here we go. So we're just going to put the plywood strips here and then another one here. And then that way we can put something here in the center. So if we want to walk the kayaks down or pull them up on a trailer, um, we can. And, and maybe, I don't know, we might be able to make it where we might be able to hold something right there too going down the road. What do you think? Like a, like our power poles or what? Like they're in the center here. Oh, probably. Probably could have a little thing to lay your power poles or yeah, whatever you know, kind of take advantage of the space. So, but uh, anyways, that's where we're at right now so far. We'll give you an update here in just a little while. Um, I guess once we get these on, we're gonna probably start either tomorrow maybe what? or do it tonight. Pack start packing barons. That might be the next week deal. Yeah. In the shop. Yeah. Just pack barons and stuff like that. We just try to get this in the plywood cut so it can start drying. And then that will cover them like very last thing. I say yeah. probably 
the night or probably not next week we might even do them the week after like on a yeah. Monday night or something like that just get them done yep get them, them on a truck because that's pretty much it yeah because this is all we're going to basically take them down on right now um maybe later on we might put a rack system in yeah and put like some rod storage or something you know mm -hmm. but right now we're on a we're on crunch time so this is this is what we're going to get when we go down to texas so <laughs> yep. but uh but yeah we'll uh we'll let you guys see what we got after we're right before we end the night here and then uh there's definitely gonna be a part two to this video all right we're getting the uh plywood all set up now just trying to get uh james wants to cut a radius up on the front there so it kind of curves with the with the kayak a little bit and um you know just makes it look a little more a little better but just we'll get on my jeans mark on your jeans yep my wife's gonna be mad oh boy <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna get that one and then that way we can duplicate it on the other one but once we get this one right uh and then like I say once everything's cut we're gonna take it to the shop we're gonna let it dry for a couple days and then carpet it. So that way it'll give these bunks a little time to dry, um, all that. But we just kind of set it up to where the fender, where it kind of just overhangs the fender a little bit. And uh, and then we're just gonna cut this down just a little bit so it's gonna fit the kayak kind of snug. You know, I mean, it ain't gonna be too, too tight, but it's gonna fit it snug. And then we'll put a little lip on the side. But main thing is we wanna cut it down so we have just some good area down between here to either store stuff or in the future if we're going to do something else with a rack or what, whatever i don't we don't know yet how where this is going to go yet but this is what we're going to have for texas so but anywho we're gonna go ahead and uh finish cutting this up this is probably gonna be the last thing we're gonna do on this right because we're not gonna be able to screw none of it down no because we're gonna let it dry out yeah and we're just gonna get it all we're gonna rip the other piece of plywood we're gonna make it round just like this one we're gonna make both sides round so I'm gonna cut this off, use it as a pattern, flip it over. It ain't gotta be perfect, but I'm gonna use this as my pattern to do the rest of the curbs. Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's that's about as far as we're gonna get, uh, probably for tonight with this. And tomorrow's gonna be bad weather anyways. So we're gonna be in the shop and getting getting things straight before we leave, get building up inventory and all that so we can be able to ship while we're gone. So, but other than that guys, that's the uh, end of this video, the end of this, trailer build part one um this is kind of on a budget i'll uh as y'all see here in the bottom what we got invested in it so far um that way you can kind of see like just you know miscellaneous parts and and all that but i'll have all that'll be right here in the bottom um but other than that like I say if you like this video hit the subscribe button uh share it with your friends and leave leave a comment down below like you know are you, are you doing a budget build right now or would you much rather just go spend, you know, the money and buy you a, you know, a really nice kayak trailer? This is going to be a nice kayak trailer, but I'm saying, what, someone, what are some of them kayak trailers that are like $5,000 plus? Mm -hmm. So, um, but I think right now, what we're thinking we're probably going to have in this, maybe 15 less than that. I think it's probably going to be less than that right now until yeah. we add other crap. Yeah. Yeah. So. It'd probably be a little less than 15. Yeah. So... But anyways, stay tuned for uh, part two. We're going to be having that one probably next Thursday. Probably yeah. part two. Probably part two. If not, it'll be the week after. If yeah. We, if we wait and let this dry out even more, we'll be covering the boards like yeah. Monday and leaving Tuesday or Wednesday morning. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So. But we are going to be covering, the, we're going to be putting some stuff on the Hobies tomorrow. So yes, we'll be shooting we that video. Be, we will be putting some stuff on the Hobies tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll be shooting that video, and that one will probably be going up Tuesday, next Tuesday. So, um, But other than that, guys, hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you later. See you.